And we just go back and forth until these eggs hatch. Summer in NA is more like uh, three to five weeks, very casual, at least like four months. I mean, it depends where you live in NA. If you live in like Florida, it's like all fucking here. But yeah, where I live, it's like, uh, depending on the year, it starts anywhere from like late May to mid June. And then it ends like late August to like mid-September. So if you have a good long summer, you get like four months out of it. A short one, you get like two and a half. Oh my god, eggs hatch. I got one of you. One of you to hatch. I have I have the eggs with me, right? I know I have. Okay, we got three eggs. We just got one to hatch already. I know the one's definitely the manaphy egg. I don't know what the other one is, and the one's porcelain. So. I think it's... what would it be? What was I breeding before? I wonder if it's actually something I need. Summer in Arizona is like having a sex the cactus. Man, I've seen people cook eggs on the fucking asphalt in Arizona. It's no thank you. Here we go, who we got? Oh, it's the Manaphy. Hey, a Manaphy hatched from the egg. Let's go. Drag them out of time, just spending all day at the beach and eating their... <laughs> eating on their balconies for four months. Yeah. It's the Mediterraneans, man. Never live down the memes of the lack of med work ethic. Actually, no, I, I used to work with some Portuguese guys when I was doing road construction, and those fuckers worked their balls off. They're really good workers. I also thought it was kind of funny that I was working with Portuguese guys. So when I was doing road construction, it's almost all Portuguese guys, and I always thought it was funny because it's like, Rome is known for the roads, and then here we are 2,000 years later, and the Portuguese guys are known for being, like, the best road workers. <laughs> you can take the Romans out of Rome, but you can't take the roads out of the Romans. It was a crack I cook a steak on the ground, like, bruh, save some for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Reese, that's good. Back and forth, back and forth. Riveting gameplay, boys. My industriousness is a solid 1.5. <laughs>
That's funny. Yeah, mine's definitely up there. I guess it depends if you count streaming as work or not. But I need to be working on something, whether that be like the stream or the videos or something around the house, or I just have to be doing something that I find productive. Oh, there we go. My dream is to get it out of 4.7. That's funny. Corsola. Hey, we got the Corsola. We are done the Johto. Every Johto pull. The Ryolu. Because you get two eggs in this game, right? I don't remember ever hatching either one. I imagine it's probably going to be the Happening or Ryolu. If Texas breaks from the Union, they're immediately going to get in, going to invade Mexico. Oh, probably. Then that'd be fucking hilarious. Texas breaks off and then invades Mexico. Conquers all of Mexico. You just have Texas conquer down into the South America. I'd be surprised if that happened today. I mean, I, I might I could see the the Mexican invasion just because they could played off as like a defensive thing from all the drugs and stuff coming across the border but like if that happened a hundred years ago a hundred percent they would just push all the way down into south america wish i had a cool uncle uh that gave me a lambo and hose has me hustling a rug pull with other scumbags <laughs> you gotta become the uncle that you wish you had the Great Texan Empire. Yeah, Florida joins. Man, Golden Horseshoe. They'll make it. The Confederate Horseshoes. They land next to Mexico, Arizona, California. The United ones. <laughs> Man, yeah, they just remake the Mexican Empire, but it's all under Texas control. Oh, it is happening. That's okay. I actually might need this thing. I can't remember if I have. Uh, tree. You can ask my wife that question. Huh? Wife, the question about big cannoli. Wait, is experience share a single item in this game or is it a key item? Must just automatically be on, I assume. Damn it, Caesar forgot to start proof vest. No cast iron skillet. What about the cast iron skillet? I'm fucking lost, bro.
Fuck it, we'll hit him with a double edge. I'm hallucinating about my half Nord, half Celtic again. <laughs> Okay, so experience share is automatically on. Don't worry, Louie, maybe one day. Cast iron skill is best weapon against zombies. Oh, nice, a chancy. These things give a ton of experience. The only game I've ever played that had a cast iron skill in it that I can remember is uh, PUBG. Alright, can we get a cast coon? I need a cast coon. Disney is rebooting or remaking the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Yeah, I am not interested in that. No straight guy should shave their body hair. Crazy how long eggs take in this fucking game compared to other games. Uh, yeah, I'll probably be doing another one in a bit. It'll, it'll probably take me a while to get to it just because I've got so many videos to get through, but I did add the second one to the playlist. Real, if you meet a man that shaves the legs, just met a homosexual, <laughs> should let him fight them. <laughs> yeah, if, if you're not a professional swimmer and you're shaving your body hair, I'm, I'm, I'm suspect. You know, I'm suspecting some stuff. The only excuse you have is if you're a professional swimmer. Then, like, it's like, okay, it makes sense, you know, I'm trying to get that advantage. Fair enough. Anything else I'm, I'm questioning. My idea of women I like, but the reality of them is different, like bad different. I mean, there's lots of different kinds of women. Some of them are great, some of them are horrible. Time for me to shave my beard and mustache. I keep debating shaving mine because it's so fucking scraggly, but I want to grow it out. So I'm just kind of like suffering through the scraggliness. I'll drag into the depths of the Undertale fandom. I do not care. I must share the suffering. It brings me joy to people who don't understand the weirdness of the fandom. It doesn't really seem too weird outside of the fact that it's like... It, it kind of just reminds me of... Uh, like, basically just like any other fan fiction stuff where it's like cringe 14 year old stuff, I guess is the best way to put it. Eighteen. That's not bad. That's a good age. Especially if you're religious, it makes a lot of sense, right? Like, I had another buddy that didn't lose his till he was twenty three when he got married because he didn't. He actually broke up with his high school girlfriend because he didn't want to have sex with her because 
She was pressuring him into it, and he didn't want to until he got married. I met a few people in nonchalantly say like 11 or 12 or 13, like Puff Bro. How? I mean, if you're hanging out with people, like, it's gonna happen. Especially if you're in like the crowd that's like partying and stuff a lot, then like I don't I don't know what it's like in Italy, but like NA there's like a huge party culture like the second you get to high school and to some degree before it's just, it's a lot bigger once you get to high school, but it exists kind of in like grade six, seven, eight, and then it's like really big once you're in high school. So if you're going to parties like every weekend, eventually it's gonna happen. I hate how long eggs taken down in Pearl. To the honeymoon, my wife went to college. That's nice. Yours is so much more romantic than mine. <laughs> hey, Nincata, let's go. Mine's like, yeah, I knew this girl because she was a friend of a friend and we hooked up at a party and we were doing mushrooms together. And yours is like, oh yeah, you know, the love of my life. We got married and then we did it. <laughs> Oh, so you just fucking, instead of getting your dick wet, you just had a fucking autism spur out. Hey, we got Wishmer. I do not remember. Let's check the town map. Maybe they'll let me fly. Oh, yeah, you can just fly without it. Okay, perfect. Awesome. I love that they got rid of HMs.
Luis de Singo for your wallet. <laughs> Hey, you could just be a dink. A dual income, no kid. I should have wrote 20 minutes. Uh, I'm going to walk to the next castle. Almost full moon. Perfect temp. Man, I wish it was 15 degrees Celsius here. Wismer's evolving. Do, do, do. We get a loud rid. Hey. I want to be the modern female idea of Satan, the scary Russian patriarch husband, backhands her for a cold second plate. <laughs> Oh my god, eggs hatch. Jesus Christ. Ugh. How close? These have got to be so close to hatching. It doesn't seem close to hatching. This egg will. Okay, one's going to hatch soon. The other one doesn't seem close to hatching. Jesus Christ. The one that doesn't seem close to hatching is the one I've had longer, too. Goddamn Aaron egg. I'd beat your ass to the ground, Louie. Don't do that shit. <laughs> uh, I mean, he's Italian and wants to date a Northern European girl, so he's probably going to be half the size of her anyway. So just pick him up and set him on the fridge if he acts up. I'm bored. <laughs> oh, finally. One of the eggs is hatching. Thank God. This is going to be the Carvana, huh? Yeah. Legion, leave the Yeti alone. <laughs> I 
Uh, what are we at with this egg now? Is it still not fucking... It may be close to hatching. Jesus Christ. Thank God I only need one of these Aeron eggs. This is insane. Bench press, I can do 300 or not. Oh, 300 bench press is pretty good. Not sure about deadlift. If you, if you can bench 300, you can almost certainly deadlift it. Unless you've got like little T-Rex arms. Because that's bad for deadlifting and good for bench press. So they, they could like skew your numbers one way. Northern blood be throwing tantrums for the goofiest shit. Uh, see, I've never like heard of that at all. I think of the uh, when I th when I think of like Northern Europe, I think of like. I mean, I guess kind of with the women, that's kind of true. But with the men, generally, it's like stoicism, not getting emotional over like anything. Great, kind of like autistic levels of lack of emotion. But yeah, white women can be kind of crazy. I mean, that's just women in general. I've dated Mediterranean women before. Believe me, they're not sane at all. I dated an Italian girl once. Oh my god, she was nuts. She's hot, though. God, was she nuts. Finally. 